Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. So today, today I will be doing this tag video that was started by Adwa Loves Fragrances. I was tagged by her, I was tagged by Naturally Liz, and this tag is all about the fragrances that started, that was that aha moment for you for that fragrance house, the one that started the deep dive into the house. So if you're interested in mine, please keep watching. Before we get started with the video, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Roxanne and this is Roxanne's Retreat. If this is your first time joining me, thank you and welcome. And if you've been here before and you've decided to come back, big up your whole self. Truly appreciate your continued support of my channel. As always, before we get started with the fragrances then, let's talk about my scent of the day. So today I decided to pull for this discontinued gem. Why do they always discontinue the best ones? And this is C. Fiore from Giorgio Armani. So this is very light, very powdery, very ethereal, makes me feel comforted. Um, the fragrance smells like the bottle looks, actually. It's like a really soft, very feminine fragrance. There's black currant, mandarin, neroli, patchouli, oak moss, and there's some musk and vanilla in the base. I love this fragrance. I do have a backup bottle because I don't understand why this was discontinued. Anyways, um, it gives me about four to five hours on the skin um, and it wears closer to my skin for the most part. The performance has gotten a little better as it sat but I absolutely love this fragrance and it's still available. I think you can still find it on the gray market. But yep, that is my scent of the day, C. Fiore from the house of Giorgio Armani. Okay, so I'm so excited to do this tag. I love tag videos. I love watching them. I love doing them. So this is... I have 10 fragrances here, 10 houses that these fragrances started my obsession with the house. So the first one I have is from the house of Joe Malone and this is Myrrh and Tonka. I love me some Myrrh and Tonka. This is one smooth, sexy fragrance. This is Myrrh, there's lavender, there's some Tonka bean vanilla and something nutty maybe in the base. Whenever I wear this fragrance, I feel like a woman that knows what she wants. I mean, whether that's true or not, we don't know, but that's how I feel. <laughs> this is super, it's unisex, first of all. So it gives that really um, androgynous, kind of sexy vibe. I just love wearing it. It's not a fragrance that I would typically pull for on an everyday basis. I like to wear it out, um, but you can wear it whenever. I think it's best in cooler weather, but of course I wear it when it's not that cool. And if I'm wearing it in the summertime or our fake fall that we have here, I usually you know, reserve it for the evening time. But I love this fragrance. It is resinous, it is so well blended gives me some good time on my skin about six to seven hours and i would say it's moderately projecting and i leave a very very alluring siage so yep this is the one that started my joe malone um exploration myrrh and tonka and i absolutely love it Next up, we have this one right here from the house of Penhaligans, and this is Changing Constance. I don't speak about this fragrance enough. This fragrance is a banger. I don't like the bottles. I don't like the whole portrait collection bottles. They're a little creepy to me. <laughs> I have to say that first, truth be told. But this fragrance is something else. Now it feels really weird taking off the head of the goat and then, I mean, it just doesn't seem right. <laughs> but anyways, changing constants. This one opens like, it opens a little spicy, but not, not like overly spicy. It, it has a little kick to it in the opening. I think there's some pimento and something else, but 
that middle note, that caramel note, that when I just got the fragrance, I really couldn't get the caramel. I was more so comparing it along the lines as um, Saffinade and Love Don't Be Shy, kind of like more of an orange blossom vibe. Although I don't think there's any orange blossom or neroli in here. But that's the vibe I was getting like in the first couple months when I owned this fragrance. Now, as it's been sitting there at least a year, that car I want to call this a caramel fragrance. It is so delicious. And there's a little bit of salt in here. So it's a salty caramel. Mm -hmm. If you have not smelled Changing Constants from Penn Halligan, I don't know what you're doing. Please get your nose on it. Nowadays, I'm seeing um, the Penn Halligan's range more often. Like I saw it at Bloomingdale's in Orlando, and then I saw it at um, Neiman Marcus here in Tampa Bay. So before, they weren't really accessible. Like you could only get it online, but now you could actually go into store, you know, if you live in this area and smell them. So yeah, this, yep, this has, this is the one that started my obsession. This was my aha uh -huh moment for this house. So this is Changing Constance from the house of Penn Halligan. By the way, it gives me about five hours on the skin. The projection is fairly low. It's nothing that screams, but once people are closer to you, woo-wee, amazing. Changing Constance from the house of Penn Halligan. Get your nose on it if you have not already done so. Next up, we have this one here. This is a classy classic, and this is Black Tie from the House of Celine. No words, y'all. This is like one of the most classiest, elegant, ladylike vanillas. I love this one. People don't talk about it as much. People don't believe that it's worth the hype because it's not a loud fragrance. This is a vanilla in my estimation that you can wear all the time because I do. I wear this in the heat. Just I spray a little lighter. But even if you overspray this fragrance, you're not going to choke yourself out. Most of the Celine fragrances are so light and airy and elegant. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. So there's vanilla in here and there's some orris root. It's just powdery, feminine, a little bit of musk, and then there's some woody nuances. Black tie from the house of Celine. If you have, and I know this is a hard one to get your hands on unless you live in a big city where they actually have a Celine boutique. Um, they don't have a Celine boutique near me. And this was a blind buy whenever I did get it. But yeah, this is such a gorgeous fragrance. Um, and because of you, black tie, I'm all up in the house of Celine trying to discover new loves. I did discover Zuzu, if that's the way you say it. That's another beautiful one. And there are a few more on my wish list, um, a few more that I want to get my nose on. But yeah, Black Tie, definitely the name suits the fragrance. <laughs> it's really like upscale, classy. That's the vibe it gives me when I wear it. Um, not a fragrance that is a beast, like I said before. It's very light and airy, light wearing vanilla. Um, gives me maybe about four hours on the skin and it wears definitely closer to my skin. But when people are in my bubble, they have no choice but, but to admit to the fact that I smell absolutely phenomenal. So this is Black Tie from the house of Celine. Next up, this is a fragrance that really started my obsession with this house and I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. And this is Ylang and Gold from M. Mikalef. Y'all, you already know, like I love this fragrance. This is another fragrance that I consider to be very classy, very elegant. So this is Yellow Florals. This is Vanilla Coconut. Just like a really Mm, I keep saying the word gorgeous. I need different words. Gorgeous, beautiful. It's just stunning. Let's say stunning. Very stunning tropical fragrance. Um, I love wearing it. I just love wearing it. I have to restrain myself from wearing this fragrance. It is so 
so so easy to wear so easy to wear so easy to pull off and it's a compliment getter um like i said there's the lang lang there's vanilla there's sandalwood coconut some citruses everything in here making it feel like a tropical dream making you feel like you're on a tropical vacation even if you're just walking around the house so when i first tried this fragrance i was like Mikalef, what a guan over there. I love it. Whatever you're doing, me like it, me love it. <laughs> and I'm going to continue to explore this house. I have a couple more from them um, and I'm loving this house. So yep, this is the one that started the obsession. Ilang and Gold gives me about six hours on the skin. Moderately projecting, just absolutely stunning. And Mikalef's Ilang and Gold. Okay, this one here will come as a surprise because I started with this fragrance as opposed to one of the most, you know, well-known fragrances in this house. And the house I speak of is the house of kerosene, but I started my obsession with kerosene with one of their um, drops from this year, Promises, Promises. I then, I, you know, got unknown pleasures found in light, but this is the one that started the obsession, believe it or not. This fragrance right here, Promises, Promises, first of all, people haven't been talking about it, but it is definitely worth getting your nose on. This is an ambery, very sexy, deep vanilla. That is the best way I can describe this fragrance. It is so good. And as it sat, woo, it's gotten better. That vanilla is coming out, so it's sweetened up the fragrance some more than, oh gosh, yeah, mm-hmm. So it's amber, vanilla, and musk. That's it, that's all that's listed. Very um, simple composition, and it wears so nice on the skin. It's so sexy to me, so sexy. Yes, kerosene, you did not break the promise. The promises were kept. And because of this fragrance, I decided to go down the kerosene rabbit hole. And I have been loving it. So promises, 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 promises gives me right now. In the beginning, it gave me like about four, four hours on the skin. Now it's sat for a couple months. The performance has gotten better. The fragrance has gotten sweeter too. Oh gosh, y'all get your nose on it. All right, get your nose on it. And when you get it, don't judge it right then and there. Let it sit for a little bit. I know not everybody has that kind of patience, but <laughs> I do. And this one, banger, 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 banger. So yeah, promises, promises, not unknown pleasures is what started my obsession with the house of kerosene. Next up, it's another fragrance that um, started my obsession, but it's still not the most popular fragrance of the house. And I speak of Killian, and the one that brought me down the Killian rabbit hole is not Love Don't Be Shy. It is Woman in Gold. Woman in Gold, in my estimation, is amazing. Listen, whenever I smell this, I want to just burst out spontaneously and you light up my life <laughs> yes because that's how this fragrance makes me feel it's very uplifting to me but it's a very luxurious smelling very feminine fragrance there's the opening has bergamot mandarin orange and aldehyde there's vanilla in the middle and on the base there's some woody notes akigala wood Tonka bean, patchouli, and musk. I don't get the patchouli, but I know the patchouli helps the fragrance to last longer and it cuts through any kind of anything that's any overly sweet. Woman in gold. This is definitely very classy, very easy to wear. It's an easy reach for me. I wear this to work, I wear this anytime, any place. And it just makes me feel very sophisticated, very womanly, you know. Is that even a word? But yeah, woman and gold from Killian. And I feel like you could wear this 
all year round. Um, not in the dead of winter, but it's light enough to wear in the summertime and in the springtime. And like now in the fall time, it definitely can transition because this girl, she doesn't play. She gives me about seven hours on the skin. I do overspray, but I love it. I just, it just whew, does something to my senses. Yep. Woman in gold from the house of Killian. This was my Killian aha moment. Aha. You are amazing. <laughs> this fragrance right here, this is what started my Sphinx obsession and this is Cairo Nights. Cairo Nights from the House of Sphinx. Whenever I spray this, I think, or you should think, if you want a comparison, Altair from PDM. Just a lot less expensive. This one is less smoky because Altair has like a kind of smoky nuance there. This one doesn't have that. This one has more of a, a sweet dry down as opposed to a smoky dry down. So it opens with some herbal notes, lemon, bergamot, lily of the valley, patchouli, jasmine. There is tonka bean, vanilla, and caramel in the base. There is like a sweet triple threat in the base of this fragrance and I am absolutely here for it. Love this one. I love this one. So when I tried this one and people don't, I can't say that I heard anybody on YouTube speak about this fragrance. I saw it like Instagram ads about the House of Sphinx. I had really no clue. And then I said, let me try Cairo Nights because they're all under $150 and they always have a sale. So this was the one I tried first and I was like, boom. <laughs> now I'm definitely exploring the house. I have one, two, three. Yeah, I think I have three more from Sphinx and I am absolutely, absolutely enamored. Okay, the price is right and the fragrances are beautiful. Cairo Nights gives me about six hours on the skin. Just like this really interesting, um, fruity floral fragrance with a nice sexy vanilla base. So it smells like Altair, but when I say that, it does I don't describe it the way I describe Altair. But anyways, it smells very similar to that. If you have Altair, do you need this one? Need is a strong word, y'all already know I say that. We only need food and water and shelter. But um, try this one if you haven't already. They have a discovery set because they have some nice fragrances in that house. And like I said, they're all under $150 and they're always running some kind of promotion. Um, Cairo Nights, I, it comes highly recommended by me. I love it. And this is, this one right here is what started my obsession with the House of Sphinx. Who started, which fragrance started my obsession, my aha moment, which was it for the House of Bond number no. nine, New York? New York Nights. She is the culprit. She is the one that started the deep dive. The deep dive of me getting into this rabbit hole. New York Nights. Y'all, if you haven't smelled this, this is caramel. This is caramel. This is lots of caramel. There's cardamom, gardenia, C notes in here, which makes it a little bit, gives it like a unique touch. But the C notes, they don't come off like C notes, if you know what I mean. It doesn't come off any, I don't get anything marine, anything fresh. And I, you know, the caramel and the florals, they just absolutely take over this fragrance. And once again, I am here for that because me and C notes, that not gonna work. That does not work all the time, okay? But I love me some New York nights. This fragrance is the one that started my Bond number no. nine obsession. And I have not looked back since, okay? This is eternally lasting on my skin, mostly pulling like a caramel note. I love wearing this anytime, any place, but it's I think it's really better in the cooler months. But again, I wear this to work. I wear this whenever. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, and oh my gosh. 
I had to have it and then I just went down the whole rabbit hole. Bond number nine, New York. This is New York Nights. And I love the bottle. I love the, you know, the skyline of New York. And I have the bedazzled one, so yeah. Enjoying this fragrance still. And she will always be in my collection because she started it all. <laughs> Next up we have this one right here, Whispers of Truth from House of Siage. And this was my first House of Siage purchase and I have never looked back. This is a very citrusy, um, citruses and caramel. That's what I get on my skin. Lots of citruses, a lot of caramel. I think there's caramel in the dry down, but it is so, so gorgeous. It's like a citrusy, lighter area version of Baccarat Rouge 540 because you do get, like on first spray, I get that like, you know, kind of light, airy, kind of sugary, sponge sugar, um, cotton candy kind of vibe. But then it goes in a different direction in that caramel dry down. Love this one. Of course, the camera never does the bottle any justice. This is a, just a gorgeous bottle. Gorgeous cupcake. There's oak moss in here, or moss, rose, jasmine, musk. Absolutely delightful. I love this fragrance, and this is what started my love affair. This was my aha moment. Started my love affair with the House of Siage. Whispers of Truth. Give, whispers of Truth. Slow down. Gives me about four, five hours on the skin. It projects, I get compliments, and I leave, definitely leave a nice sillage. This could fill up the room depending on how much you spray. But yep, Whispers of Truth started the whole cupcake love affair. <laughs> Last but certainly not least is this one right here, and this is Cavort from the House of Fragrance de Bois. This is the one that started it. This was the starter. This was the starter of the obsession. This is a very sexy, sexy saffron fragrance in my estimation. There's cinnamon, rose, ylang-ylang, orange blossoms, sandalwood, all of those things. But what comes out on my skin, what dances on the skin, what makes me feel absolutely amazing is this fragrance to me is very saffrony. <laughs> Not saffron like BR540, it's just a different one. A different type of saffron. This one is deeper. This one is sexier. Hence, I love wearing this fragrance on date night. This is date night approved. Very upscale, very mm, polished, very sophisticated smelling fragrance on my skin at least. I enjoy wearing it. It's super expensive, I know. But, you know, wait, get it on sale if you can. It's, you know... Nobody's saying that you have to have it, but you have to have it. <laughs> it's definitely um if you're if you're into saffron, if you like fragrances that make you feel that way, try Cavort from Fragrance Dubois. It lasts a long time on the skin. Usually, like I say, I wear it on date night. I don't need it to last that long <laughs> because it's usually, you know, two, three hours, you come home, you shower, whatever. But um it lasts a good bit on my skin. I want to say um, I've given this like a full day wear and it's lasted about seven hours on the skin, all things considered. So yeah, Cavort from the House of Fragrance Dubois. Definitely, definitely a banger. Definitely what started me to explore, to want to explore this house. And that I have done. Okay, y'all, so that brings us to the end of the video. Please, please let me know in the comments which fragrances started your love affair with these houses. What was your aha moment? Thank you so much for Adwa Loves Fragrances for tagging me. And Liz, I'm going to, you know, tag some other people and put her um, channel down there. If you have not seen her, go ahead and check her out. And if you want to do the tag, you're a perfume girly, you're a beauty girly, people in the comments, you don't even have to have a channel, let us know. We want to know. We want to know what started your love affair with a certain house. What was your aha uh -huh moment? We really want to know. And like I always say, we could be anything in this world we want to be with a lot of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. But while we're getting there, and even if we are, we're going to do what? We're going to smell like good people. We're going to smell fabulous at all times. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. 
See you in the next one. Bye-bye.